Hey everybody, Sneaky Narcotic, back at it again with another YouTube video, and today guys, I am I am joining the dark side. Um, I just came back from the Alabama LSU game, and as you can tell from my shirt, I, uh, I pulled for the wrong team. Um, and I'm not mad, congratulations to LSU, if you don't care about sports, skip over this part. Um, but that's just to say that I am taking my anger out on my opponents so this deck <clears throat> is a little bit of a a mashup i'd call it it's basically a lot of good white and black cards but they're all control based and i i like it i really do it makes me feel pretty tough um now before i really go into the actual deck tech i do want to talk about the flaws of this deck so the flaws of this deck is that it is a little bit of mid-range, um, although it can handle, con uh, I say almost of control, it can handle aggro, but the the primary problems that this deck has is stompy. If this deck gets trampled or, uh, for instance, I know a card that would definitely, definitely, definitely give me a headache is Questing Beast. Um, come on. Come on. Come on, game. There we go. Questing Beast, where I can be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Um, because we have a good bit of creatures with power 2 or less. So, that being said, I do have cards and ways to get around it. Um, so, left to right, let's get into it. Our first card, Cauldron Familiar. And of course, if you talk about Cauldron Familiar, you have to talk about Witch's Oven. So, Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven is just this pretty stupid, but pretty nasty combo that I come across from time to time. That I just, I, I had to throw it in here. I had to. So, uh, Cauldron Familiar comes down, you, your opponent loses one life, you gain one life. And then if you die from, uh, if Cauldron Cat wants to die, you can sacrifice a food token, return Cauldron Familiar to the, uh, I always call it Cauldron Cat, so I apologize. I'm going to get that mixed up all night, so I'm so sorry in advance. But uh, Cauldron Familiar comes back to the battlefield from your graveyard. And so, um, Witch's Oven, you can sacrifice Cauldron Familiar to make a food token to be able to bring it back from your graveyard. Every single freaking turn. I lost a Cauldron Familiar deck the other day, and that's really the reason why I even made this deck, was for this combo here. But a little bit of support. We have Dawn of Hope. Dawn of Hope helps us draw cards, make tokens. Pretty good card. Um, Midnight Reaper, again, draws us some cards from our creatures dying. And yes, we lose life, but since we're also gaining life from the Cauldron Familiar, it negates the factor of the Midnight Reaper. Um, and plus, the Midnight Reaper himself, 3-2, not that bad. Uh, we don't have Graveyard Recursion, for, kind of. We have one card that does, but not not any others. So, um, if he dies, he dies. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Murderous Rider. Um, this helps us with the control aspect. Yes, you're losing two life, but with Cauldron Familiar, I mean, we're going to gain so much life. Dawn of Hope, we can gain a lot of life. Um, the next card, a Yara, can gain us some life too. So, a Yara first of Lothwain. This is one of the first cards that I um, initially wanted to build around, and I haven't really found a good place for her just yet. Um, I'm still looking, and I think this deck is... Probably the best so far that I could show her off in. So, um, when she or a, another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses one life and you gain a life. Um, you can tap her, sacrifice another black creature, and draw a card. So, she is herself a card draw engine on a 2 3 nice thin body. Um, Mortify. Mortify destroys target creature enchantment. There has been a lot of enchantments uh, recently just coming out. Dance of the Mance has made it to where it's pretty harsh. Um, there's a couple other enchantments that I've seen just coming back. And I, I, I really felt like Mortify needed to be in this deck mostly for the enchantments. We have creature kills. We have multiple creature kills. But we needed an enchantment kill. Um, speaking of creature kills, we have Bacon to a Pie. Bacon to the Pie, 
It primarily made the deck, yes, because it's control, yes, because it's at instant speed. It's basically a murder with a one generic more so that you can create a food token. The food token is why it made it into the deck, so that we can continuously get our cauldron familiar. If, for whatever reason, we mess up our cauldron familiar combo, this is a way we can get get it back. Um, Doom Foretold? Doom Foretold's in here, and I might take one of them out for another Mortify. Doom Foretold's in here because it does so much, and since we are controlling our opponent's board, uh, we're trying to have them have as little non-land permanents and non-token permanents as possible. So, I uh, we'll get Doom Foretold off a couple different times. So, um, yeah. Now, the, the, the biggest drawback with Doom Foretold is when it comes back to your turn, and you have to decide, do you want to sacrifice that Doom Foretold? Do you want it to be a one-off, made them sacrifice something, now you sacrifice Doom Foretold for four mana? Mm, a lot of times, I'll end up, like, sacrificing a Dawn of Hope, or even just, like, uh, a Mortify and a Yara. I really wish it didn't say non-token. I understand why it does, of course, but I really wish it didn't. Um, Cavalier of Night. Cavalier of Night is here because it helps us spot remove. Um, we don't mind losing one of our own creatures to take care of another creature on the battlefield. As well as, it returns a target creature with a uh, converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Now, Murderous Rider won't be one of those creatures, but we have a Yara, we have... Midnight Reaper, and of course, another way to get our Cauldron Cat back, especially if we accidentally, or not accidentally, but purposely, lose it to Doom Foretold, so. Uh, and of course, since we are playing more of this aristocratic kind of deck, we do have Liliana Dreadhorde General in here, card draw, token build, uh, pretty much all you could want in a commander all at once, so. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We are playing a very generic uh, white-black mix here for land base. So Temple of Silence, Godless Shrine, and 7-7 seven and seven on Plains and Swamps. Um, and yeah, that's basically the deck. Uh, it's done pretty good for me so far. Now, I said that about my last deck, and I had to instantly put my foot in my mouth. So let's see how it does for me tonight. Uh, I might get my butt whooped, and I still will probably post this just because it's been such a minute and I do apologize guys I um I have a policy and my policy is if if I'm going to post um if I'm going to post content it's going to be good content y'all don't deserve to watch me absolutely bomb and tank and chew my own butt out for doing stupid plays um actually that helps that we have kill 15 of your opponent's creatures in here since that's what we're going to have to do today. So let's play. Alright. The butter song always works out for me. Victory Chord is the opponent. I say that because I I recently moved my box here so you guys can see my um, field a little better. See the opponent's field a little better. And I think this is probably the best place for my uh, box to be. My box to be. Um... We have Cauldron Cat, we have Dawn of Hope, Murderous Rider, yeah. Not a bad start. Uh, we can scry into a land, into a Witch's Oven, primarily is what I would like. Come yeah, on. First game of the night, always does this. Always does this. Okay, don't know what happened there. Uh, I guess the game must have messed up on me. But at least it's let me come back into the game I was playing. Didn't get to scry what I wanted, so hopefully it was good whatever I put on top there. Um, hmm. Looks like I skipped a turn too. That's great. It's always a fun time. Maybe I didn't skip a turn. I don't remember. No, he didn't go first. I skipped a turn. Ah, sometimes. Crashing. Crashing and burning. Excuse me. Are you playing a night build? Huh. 
Well, let me introduce you to my murderous knight. He is a hoot. Block. Alrighty. So, let us go ahead and murder Strider. We're gonna come back, guys. We're gonna come back. Even from that kind of crappy... I, I drew an Ayara off of that scry, by the way. That's kind of... Ugh. Uh-uh-uh. Spawn of Mayhem. Alright. Guess what happens to a Spawn of Mayhem on my watch? Murder Strider number two. I wonder why he has a Spawn of Mayhem in his night deck, too. That makes no sense to me. We're gonna be a little frivolous with our life totals here. God, I have all three of my ARs in my hand. That's kind of bad. Yeah, he can do that if he wants. You know what, actually... <laughs> we'll just block it. I have two other ARs in my hand, why not? Why not, guys? Ugh, Spawn of Mayhem. Okay. So we are a first of luck, Thwain. Draw a card. Mmm, okay. We're about to get our engine building. He's about to punish us, though. He's about to punish us super hard. I hate to do this, but I'm going to go to half my life total. I hate to do that, but I have to. Really? Really? That is so lame. That is super lame. Okay, so I can mortify, uh, I'm gonna have to mortify, so we'll do this, that trigger, that trigger, decline, sadly decline. Go ahead and put the Witch's Oven out there, because we need to. And mortify one of his Mayhems. Sure, resolve that. Pass turn. Resolve that. There's still hope, guys. There's still hope. Okay, so first things first, we're going to sacrifice our... Submit one, and then, come on, let me draw my card. Thank you, thank you kindly. Then we're going to 
Witch's Oven, the Ayara. Resolve it, please. Also, since you have no target, that gets, uh, yeah, put in the graveyard. Ha ha ha. Resolve it. Passive attacks. Alright, so Cauldron Familiar comes on back out. Sacrifice of food. I wish I could, but I can't. And there we go. Wish I could, but I can't. Um... Thoughts. I'm pretty sure we lose this one. All right, good game. We lost it. Can't can't say nothing to that. We lost it. Um, I could have been a turn ahead, maybe, and they are would have been out earlier, and I could have set up the engine a little earlier, but. I mean, you get what you get, right? So, for now, we'll just take the loss solemnly. Like the sad golem. Ah. I apologize for that. That's mainly because I'm super frustrated, I guess. That the don't you do it again I'm looking at you screen don't you do it again that's what I thought I heard it there we go let's play another game I don't know what's been going on but recently when I try to stream the the client plus OBS isn't isn't how do I put it isn't gelling you know they're not gelling I'm going crunchy girl. Give me a world. Ugh, this is kind of bad, but kind of good, so we'll keep it. Let's see what we're up against. Strider wing foot. Okay. There's hope. It's a white deck. There's there's hope, guys. There's hope somewhere out here. Mmm, Boros. Love me a good Boros in the morning. Dune of Hope. I wonder... Okay. Alright, let's draw a card off of Cauldron Cat. I, I don't know why I can't call it by his real name. It's, if for whenever, it should just be Cauldron Cat. Alright, Midnight Reaper. Very good card. So, I assume he's going to be playing a uh, Feather deck. He might even bring it out now, so that way he can protect it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Nah, no blocks. Alright. So now we're going to play Doom Foretold. Doom Foretold is a great way to get around Feather. Because he has to sacrifice permanent, so there's no protection. Can you, uh... Hmm. 
All right, there we go. Uh, yep, no attacks. So, sacrifice a permanent. Probably is legionnaire. We, of course, will probably choose a Dawn of Hope. And if he puts down another creature, I might just do Doom for Toll times two. Yep, he put down another creature, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this is more of my speed. Alright, Gideon, of course, okay. Or... <laughs> Now I could outright heal his feather if I wanted to. Depends on if we get into land next turn. If I get into land, I'll I replace my Dawn of Hope because that is the card I'm going to. Okay, I did not. So, Doom Foretold number two. And no attack. So, trigger, trigger. Please waste a permanent. I mean, please waste a card in your mana. Please, please just do it. Thinking that you can protect something from your own sacrifice. Yeah, pick something. You have two things. You're going to lose something good. Not just your uh, vanguard over here. Alright, you lost your Gideon. That's good. You lost your other boy. That's good. So I'm going to lose a Doom Foretold, but I'm okay with that. Sure, yeah. Make it big. Okay, still making it big, or actually not even. Protection from white, that was kind of dumb. Okay. Pass it over to me. Feather Feather, Doom Foretold. So, uh, we are obviously going to... Okay, that does nothing. I don't know why. Because then I can just do this. Wow, that was really dumb. Learn how a stack works, man. Yeah, do you have another one? Didn't think so. So now he's just crying for, I guess, I assume, a feather. Probably could be wrong. Um, but his god willing, yeah, will go in the graveyard. We will uh, take away a cauldron cat and a doom foretold. Grabbed a land. Ah, it's sad that it's not a white land. Okay, well, you're about to get Doom Foretold, so you'll be discarding the last card in your hand. Or, actually, you'll have two cards in your hand, so you'll discard that card, pretty sure. Discard, lose two life, I draw a card, gain two life, and create a 2-2. See so, yeah. yay me, go team. Bless you, Pumpkin. Bless you again, Pumpkin. Yeah, I will... Hmm. Do I really care to block that right now? I mean, he can do this if he wants. 
Nah. Go ahead. Hit me for five. I don't care. Go team. Alright. So. Now I can do... This plus hmm. Do I want to do Cauldron Cat or Dawn of Hope? Cauldron Cat or Dawn of Hope? I guess Cauldron Cat. Go ahead and hit him for two. Why not? Ba boom. You remember when your life total used to be above 20? That was a good time. Cheer, swing. Yeah, why not? You know what? I'm okay with sacrificing an AR to this. Yay! Winning, guys. Hashtag winning. Sure, hit me for one. We will block with the 2 2 indict token just in case he wants to boost it. That's fine by me. One away from doing that, uh, we could just do this. So I'll drain them one, and we will auto pay for our sixth land for next turn. That's awesome. Next, uh, nope, and in turn. Sure, yeah. One of them will be dying next turn. So pass. Uh, pass on. It's kind of stupid, because then I'll just gain life, but okay. Wish I could, but I can't, Dawn of Hope. Go ahead and sacrifice the cauldron key yet. Okay. Okay, pay that. Bacon to a pie. Your pie. And then we uh, mortify. And we uh, swing to here. One attack. Next. Next. There we go. Got him. A little bit grindy, but we got him, guys. We got him, got him, got him. Let's play uh, another one. At least one win against my belt today. At least one. And four more kills from getting my 500 coins for the day, so. Yeah, buddy. Oh. 
Legend Killer. My name is Legend Killer. Killed any legends recently? Probably not. Okay. Keep seven. I don't like a double AR hand, but it'll be fine. Oof. Okay. Um. There we go. Okay. Oof. Yet again. Not what I want. Ooh, soul tie. Let's see what he searches for. What are you going to search for? Let me add your research. Garut Cursed Huntsman. Okay. Well, that is a card to look for. Um... We're just going to Colgen Cat for now, pay to you. We're kind of looking for a second, or a, a second black mana. Yes, exactly what we're looking for. A Midnight Ripper. Also not a bad card. Okay. That was stupid, but okay. Group Cursed Huntsman. <laughs> Let's see what he has for me now. Look at my coaching cat. He ain't doing nothing. I wish he was, but he's not. I'm kind of surprised. Normally, when you put Cauldron Cat with uh, Witch's Oven and four and four, yeah, you get them often, but not anymore. You don't. It's really not that great of a board, but okay. That was not that commanding of a board to do that. But okay. Good health is easy to find in war. So he's playing a, uh, whatchamacallit, a Command of the Dreadhorde deck, it looks like. Sure, I wouldn't love another land. Um, let us play a Mortify on your. Cavalier there. Go ahead and bring a creature back. Yeah, sure. Shoot, yeah. So he's about to deal four to me. For sure. I at least appreciate what he's doing. Why did you cast Witch's Vengeance? Okay. Okay. Well, that's a concede. That is holy hell, guys. That was wow. That was a lot. That was that was a lot. Um I'm gonna put that on notice. Where is my pen and paper and something I can actually write on? Sorry. Um, Liliana, Elemental, Command the Jerhord. Uh, Tamio deck. Yeah, that was an interesting, um, 
little deck he had there. That was, wow. Was not expecting that, that's for sure. Uh, so we're going to play one more, guys. Uh, per usual, when I decide to record, all of a sudden, it just... It puts me against good decks. Like, I can't even complain about that last deck. For a second, I was like, oh, that's not bad. But then he was like, stack, 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 stack. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, so, Doom Foretold and Mortify, not bad. Depends on what we're playing, though. Now, that being said, I could have ritual sooted him so bad if I had a sideboard. Uh, game two would have been on, on point. And I do want to say, if you do try this build, definitely put a uh, ritual soot in here. I think it would be definitely worth it. Intercept. Boom, boom. Okay. Oh boy, do I need land. Uh, this is instant speed, so we will pass it over. Okay, so we will... Kill that one. The old dude tail did two damage to us, yep. And then we'll get another two damage dealt to us. Very good, very good. Oh, well, no. We couldn't do Doom Patrol just yet. Now we can. Maybe. I'm still trying to find a good spot for Doom Foretold as well. Not just a Yara. Fireblade Artist. God, he is hasting out, isn't he? Running out of spells to take care of your things. Stop. Ah, uh, stop hasting me. Okay. This. Plus that. Yay. <laughs> You're starting to piss me off, dude. This is retarded. I kind of want another land so I can put uh, Murderous Rider and Midnight Ra Rider. Midnight Reaper. Both out here. What do you want to do? Come on. Do something. Anything, please. Come on. And where's the clock? Oh, it would have been nice to get another land and a Liliana, but we didn't get that. Um, I think we're just going to do this. And pass turn. Act like we were holding up a, maybe a D-Spark or something. Swing. Come on, land. That's not a land either. Come on, land. Oh, it's still not a land. Okay, do we... If we murder a strider, we'll outdo ourselves. We don't want to do that. And Donna Pope.
This isn't considered a knight, right? No, it's considered a warrior. Okay. I'd rather gain life, I'm going to be honest. Why did you wait to do that? That makes no sense. Okay. So now we play Doom for Gold. And another Dawn of Hope. Okay. So hope we don't get burned out or any bull crap out. I don't I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> That's fine. I'm fine with that. So I don't know if he knows this, but he's going to have to sacrifice Liliana next turn. And another Dawn of Hope. Okay, well. Ha! I bet he's now realizing that he couldn't sacrifice the token. <laughs> Swing your 2 2. I'd love to draw a card. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Let me draw my card. Oh, a cauldron cat. Love those too. Yes, okay. So, uh, we will get rid of a Donovan. Always love a land when we get one. Uh, we. Dawn of Hope, I, Cauldron Cat, yes, ooh, another Doom Foretold, negative four, draw me a card, hmm, now nah, we'll, we'll save it for next turn, pass turn. Uh, yes. I will say for a mid-range deck, this draws you in black and white. This draws you a lot of cards. So, you gonna come back from this? So I'm about to start gaining life again. And yet our opponent just stares at us. With that odd Liliana look that she has. Hello, Liliana. Why does this whole hand go black? Or maybe that's just the angle I'm looking at the screen. <clears throat> Yeah, pass the turn. Don't do anything, just pass the turn. We're gonna give him one of these. Hello. How about a good game, bro? And then go change the color of our fox a couple times. That's right. Concede. Concede because you know I'm better. I really don't think that he uh, understood Doom Foretold was going to take his Liliana. I think he thought it would take the token, which he was okay with. Um, But yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much the game. So thank you all for watching. If you like this content and want to see more of it, please like, share, subscribe to all that usual YouTube stuff. And this is Sneaky Narcotic. Signing off.